do you all believe in the firmament? Well, if by firm you mean a layer of waters above, you can ask and answer this question as many ways as you like, but here's the reality. The firmament that you're talking about doesn't seem to be there anymore. So if you think of what layers of waters above as traditionally has been existing in geology and in theology, God formed the waters on the ground, he then on the earth, the world was covered with water, so don't be surprised. It's always been cool. It's never been a hot earth. And then he split the waters below from the waters above, and then you end up with words like the firmament, uh, a, a layer or a, 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 a space in between the first layer of water and the second layer. The layer of water came from the earth, and it was split above. You can have almost any opinion you want about that because that layer doesn't appear to be there anymore. Anybody else want to add any more comments to that? No. Yeah, this just one of the really debated topics, even among creationists, is the, the use of that word firmament in, in what it means. I think it's very clear on day two that he separated liquid water from vapor water, but this other band out there, you know, we don't have the evidence for it, but may very well be. So it's kind of like John said, it's, whatever you want to believe it's not one of these things i would get hung up on you know that'd be my opinion there was enough moisture left in the atmosphere however for 40 days and 40 nights of rain so when that collapses any apparent or intermediate firmament would disappear and there's nothing there at the moment so if you want to go on a space ride up to the moon or are past the moon you don't need to put an umbrella on the front of your spaceship at all that layer of water is gone and i'm pretty yeah. sure that water would have moderated the climate up to the days of Noah. Any absence of that water and your climate is now much more erratic as you and I well experience.